Welcome to another video from your friends here at Altitude University. Whether you like it or not, Remote ID will be mandatory for all drone pilots in March 2024. If your drone doesn't have Remote ID capabilities, we've got a solution for you. Before we begin, hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue providing you with more drone related content. Is your drone ready for remote ID or will you need to use a solution like the ones provided by DroneTag? Leave us a comment below and let us know. A few weeks ago, we took a poll on our channel asking if you were ready for the March 2024 remote ID rule to go into effect. 39% said they were, 18% said no, and we were surprised to find that 43% weren't sure what remote ID was. So let's start with a discussion about what it is. A couple years back, there was a bit of worry about how to keep track of pilots that were operating in the skies, especially those that weren't following the rules. To tackle this, the FAA came up with a remote ID rule for drones, which is going into full swing by March 16th, 2024. The new rule is pretty straightforward. It requires all drone pilots to add a broadcast module to their drones. This module is like a digital ID tag, helping improve safety and security by making it easy to spot who's flying where. Initially, it was supposed to start by September 16, 2023, but the FAA understood that some pilots were having a tough time getting these modules, so they extended the deadline to March 2024. Just a friendly reminder, after this new deadline, if your drone isn't set up with a remote ID, there might be some serious penalties, including fines or even losing your drone pilot's license. The FAA wants to make sure everyone's on the same page, so there won't be any further extensions. If you're a drone operator whose drone doesn't have remote ID capabilities, it's a good idea to gear up and get ready by getting yourself a remote ID module as soon as possible. The good news is that most newer drones have remote ID built in. Check with your manufacturer to see if you have remote ID or if you will need a separate remote ID module. If you fall into the latter group that needs a new module, DroneTag is one company with a solution to your problem. Founded in 2019 and based in the Czech Republic, Drone Tag has focused on creating a safer airspace by providing solutions for uncrewed traffic management and advancing digital visibility of drone technology. Drone Tag offers several solutions for remote ID. Some of these include hardware that would need to be built into your drone. Since most of the operators we speak with don't want to deal with this, we'll focus on two of their turnkey solutions that are ready to go once you attach them to the drone. Our friends at Drone Tag were kind enough to let us test out two of these modules the Drone Tag Mini and the Drone Tag Beacon. Both devices are compliant with the FAA and if you find yourself in Europe, they have the ASA approval as well. The Drone Tag Mini is the professional solution and costs $329. The remote ID device is designed for professional pilots and combines both network and broadcast remote ID capabilities. This means it makes you compliant for the FAA's remote ID rule, but also provides data that can be used to manage a fleet of drones. The module weighs 32 grams and is 2.1 inches long, 1.3 inches wide, and 0.6 inches tall. The battery life ranges from 8 hours to 14 hours depending on the configuration, and it fully charges in just 2 hours. There is no subscription fee to get the basic features required by the FAA, but if you want to use the more advanced features like flight planning, a fee of 15 euros, about $16, applies after the first 6 months. The Drone Tag Beacon can be thought of as the bare minimum you need to follow the rules. It's one of the lightest modules on the market at just 16 grams, measuring 1.5 inches by 1 inch by 0.63 inches in height. The module has a battery life of up to 16 hours, so more than most pilots could ever need. The Drone Tag Beacon is $219. For testing, we use the Drone Scanner app, which is available for Apple and Android. The Drone Scanner app doesn't have good reviews, but this is largely because people don't understand that iOS only supports Bluetooth and not Wi-Fi, meaning a drone like the DJI Mavic 3 Pro might not pick up on the app because it uses Wi-Fi. Regardless, it worked well for the purposes of testing the Drone Tag modules. A quick side note, Drone Tag has its own tracking app you'll want to check out, but we wanted to use a third-party app just to keep the testing fair. In testing, we found that both devices worked really well. The Drone Scanner app quickly picked up the Mini and Beacon once they were turned on. 
They're broadcasting match flight data from the on-screen information of our drone, and either module would be a good purchase to make if you want to be compliant with the FAA's rule. If you'd like to purchase either drone tag module, make sure to check out the link in the description below. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out our video on drone drills with some great drills to test out your new remote ID modules on. Click the link to my right and check it out. Until next time, stay safe out there and happy flying.